And that that may have been the moment which created more mass than antimatter. And that's why we're doing one of the reasons we built the LHC is to recreate those conditions to see if we see that process happening. These phase transitions, you said water boiling, to going from just regular water to boiling, or even freezing, right? Water going, it's water ch completely changing its state. And you now use this vocabulary sort of loosely in the early universe, or maybe literally, the universe is changing its, its state mm -hmm. of existence. Are you just saying, if it's gonna happen anywhere, that's where it's gonna happen? Because that's where there's some serious action going down, down the pipe. Yeah, I mean, it's well, theoretically, you can, when you do the, you sort of figure out what this event looked like under certain conditions, you find in the equations of the standard model that you can make more particles than antiparticles in certain, this phase transition has to happen in a very particular way. And you actually need more particles than exist in the standard model. So the standard model on its own can't do it, but the standard model plus some other things can do it. But it's also possible it happened earlier. So we're talking like, you know, not a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, but a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second. So you're getting closer to time zero. 